The first thing we see in Whisper of the Heart is a sweeping panoramic view of the bustling Tokyo cityscape with its blinking neon lights and bustling traffic. The camera then gently glides down to street level, where we meet the protagonist, Shizuku Tsukishima, a bookish middle schooler who is running to the convenience store and back again to her crowded, cluttered apartment. The setting of Whisper of the Heart is one of the things that makes it stand out from other Studio Ghibli films. It is one of just three Studio Ghibli films, alongside Ocean Waves and My Neighbors the Yamadas, that is set predominantly in a modern-day city. Unlike the lavish dreamscapes and epic narratives of films like Howl's Moving Castle and Princess Mononoke, Whisper of the Heart is refreshingly mundane. Its story is simple, unpretentious, and even conventional. A love story between Shizuku and her classmate Seiji, two average teenagers who are pursuing their respective crafts of writing and violin making. Shizuku even jokes about the banality of her surroundings with a friend, rewriting the lyrics of John Denver's Take Me Home Country Roads into a tongue-in-cheek exaltation of Tokyo's Concrete Roads. Whisper of the Heart is a film that celebrates the ordinary, even though it is set in a seemingly mundane urban setting. The opening sequence of the film gazes upon the city with tenderness rather than tedium, and the Tsukishima apartment is presented with a level of detail that suggests real endearment. The film's protagonist, Shizuku, even expresses her love for her hometown Tokyo, despite joking about its concrete roads. This embrace of the ordinary is the driving spirit of Whisper of the Heart, a film that is sometimes unfairly dismissed as a charming but ultimately juvenile teen romance. However, at its core, Whisper of the Heart grapples with the very same themes as films like Spirited Away, such as the joy of self-discovery and the true meaning of love. While other Ghibli films allow their everyday protagonists to escape into magical worlds, Whisper of the Heart finds magic in the everyday. Whisper of the Heart is a film that celebrates the ordinary, and as a result, it is able to avoid cliches and feel more genuine. Its story, like its depiction of setting, is refreshing in its attention to detail and its refusal to meet audience expectations. Shizuku, a budding artist with a wild imagination, writes her first story over the course of the film. But the story's arc avoids the cathartic resolution we might expect. In the end, Shizuku is disappointed with her story. It is good, but not great. Seiji's grandfather, who has become a mentor to Shizuku, compares it to an unpolished gemstone, whose true potential she is only beginning to discover. Instead of the cheap satisfaction of seeing Shizuku's ambitions immediately realized, Whisper of the Heart shows us a sobering, but ultimately more profound reality. Great art takes time. Additionally, despite the romance plot's well-known elements, an initially prickly demeanor that eventually softens into compassion and an embarrassingly extravagant proclamation of love, the movie quickly strays from cliches and instead draws strength from its character's awkward, vulnerable humanity. The relationship between Seiji and Shizuku is never shown to be just a simple innocent infatuation. Their mutual love of art and willingness to support one another in achieving their objectives are the fundamental elements of their partnership. After feeling disappointed in herself for not having more ambition, Shizuku is motivated to take matters into her own hands after Seiji leaves for a two-month apprenticeship in Italy, manufacturing violins. He's going to find out if he's talented enough, she says. Well, so will I. The third act of Whisper of the Heart follows Shizuku's creative journey, with Seiji largely absent. Instead of focusing on the mechanics of their courtship, the film explores how love teaches them to care for themselves and others. When the pair reunite at the end of the film, Seiji apologizes for not helping Shizuku with her story, but she tells him that he was the reason she wrote it in the first place. This moment, rather than the slightly outlandish marriage proposal that follows, is the emotional climax of the scene. 
It shows us that love is not a selfish teenage fantasy, but a form of mutual support and discovery. In Whisper of the Heart, the most meaningful things are not big, dramatic moments, but quiet moments of honest connection. Studio Ghibli films often explore the theme of wonder and beauty in the ordinary. For example, while the bathhouse in Spirited Away is majestic and awe-inspiring, the scene that strikes most viewers the deepest is the much more understated train sequence. Similarly, Totoro is a character who embodies magical wonder. But the moment that brings him the most joy is the simple, everyday sensation of raindrops falling on an umbrella. The same sense of astonishment that Shizuku feels when she sees her city from above and feels like she's in the sky can also be seen in Totoro's delighted grin. Both scenes find beauty in the small pleasures of ordinary life, regardless of whether the worlds they depict are magical or not. Whisper of the Heart is more than just a conventional romance or coming-of-age story. It is a tender and unabashedly optimistic meditation on the experience of wonder, and it shows us that despite the panic and confusion of growing up, these characters are willing to embrace every last bit of the beauty that the world has to offer. I hope you enjoyed this video about Whisper of the Heart. It's a truly special film that I highly recommend to everyone. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more anime content. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.